Christmas Marathon, uh, session 20. All right, we're just about done. Uh, obviously, it's uh, probably around 8 o'clock in the evening if you're seeing this on, on Christmas Day. But if not, anytime you may see it, it's, a, it's appropriate. We want to talk about John's ordination. John's ordination. We're still in Luke uh, chapter 1, and it reads like this, uh, verse 76. Uh, it looks like we're going to finish up the chapter. And you, my little son, will be called the prophet of the Most High, because you will prepare the way for the Lord. You will tell his people how to find salvation through forgiveness of their sins. Because, God, because of God's tender mercy, the morning light from heaven is about to break upon us. To give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. And to guide us to the path of peace. John grew up and became strong in spirit. And he lived in the wilderness until he began his public ministry to Israel. John's ordination. Um, once I was uh, administrating at a uh, religious institution and, and uh, you know, this woman came in and uh, she wanted to know uh, what she needed to do uh, in order to preach. And, um, you know, we talked about that. But the thing I said, I said, well, you need to have some people, you say you're called to preach, but you need to have some people who, quote, here's that word, affirm that. Uh, confirm before, affirm after. You know, you say that, I guess it's confirmed in your heart, but you need somebody to sign on that. You need somebody to agree with you about that, that you have shown yourself to be faithful and that now they will place their hands upon you. Well, here John is. Who would do that for John? Who better than his dad? Who better than a person from the order of the priests who is dedicated, who God has sent an angel to, who God has seen as being a person who he would honor? What better a person to then to ordain, to set apart for service his own son, John? And so it is John's ordination. And of course, he says of, of his son, these things that, that's going to transpire with him and the work that he's got and what he is to do in this ordination as he tells him what he would do. Things like you're called a prophet of the Most High. You will tell his people how to find salvation because of his tender mercy. And you will help to give light to those who are sitting in darkness. Uh, and, and, and you will provide for him this guidance uh, so that people can have and find their way to peace. And the scripture says that John grew up. He was strong in the spirit. And he lived in the wilderness until such time. It was time to begin his earthly ministry. John's ordination. Can you imagine? So we can't call ourselves. We need somebody to co-sign on us. We need somebody to affirm that what we say God has done. Indeed, others have witnessed it. And John's father was able to do just that based upon what he was told from the angel. And then what he experienced with his own eyes, he knew his son had a great calling upon his life. Father, we bless you. Father. We honor you, Father. We honor you.